ladies and gentlemen. Now today, I thought for a little bit of fun, we'd try and bring Lost Fame Meliodas back with Green Tank Deanne, Green Halloween Gotha, and also a Ludo Ambush on the back. And this has been working out very, very well playing Valenti this week, because uh, usually Tank Deanne dies, Ludo's passive comes down, and then we can just God Nuke everybody. However, here, it's a little bit more annoying, I think. Um, what do we want to go for turn one? I think let's go for upgrade on Gotha. Let's go for this and let's um, uh, taunt here. But yeah, this has been working out very nicely with Valenti, but Lost Vein, it's a bit more risky. Uh, but there's maybe more reward damage wise as well, because Gotha is going to have to pumpkin bombs in order to reliably control my Lost Vein, or else I could have a merger and then rush ult. So yeah, I'm hoping he goes for pumpkin bombs here. Okay, nice. So upgrade everything in order to get a um, silver pumpkin bombs. Double roll me back here. But again, the ult isn't our win criteria. The draw was like a little bit unfortunate here. But I think we want to go for this play, man. Let's upgrade Gotha. Let's get the gold buff here. And I think I'm just going to merge on um, uh, Deanne for now. I think that makes the most sense. Because then like everybody's super tanky. We've got massive damage when we need it. And also, I think he's going to need to Pumpkin Bombs next turn. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens here, man. But next turn, again, the Gotha stacks are building up. I think the chance of Deanne dying is actually quite low at this point, in all fairness. Hmm. And there is a Liz Shield as well. Okay, so I think we... Um, we go for breaking this shield here. <laughs> And then I think we uh, go for the big card into Gotha and the big card over here into um, Escanor, I think. Mm. I don't think he's going to be able to heal much back with that tank, the end that's like buffed up in the way. This, I think, does get Gotha down here. Yeah, dude, easy kill on Gotha. Big den out of Escanor, puts us in a really good position for the next turn. So he's going to need to Pumpkin Bombs. Ideally, we would have drawn, like, more Lost Fane cards in this match. Because, <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been, like, super lucky on the draw. It's been all right, though. We got, like, some nice uh, Gotha upgrade draw. But really, it is, uh, I think, with this team, we want to draw, like, as many Lost Fane cards as humanly possible here. Okay, so I think next turn, let's just... Um... Let's get the big threat out of the way. This should take down Escanor here, I think. And I think we'll just... Um... I I'm pretty sure with the buff, it's actually going to take down Escanor. And then I think we can also get Gotha down here. Okay, nice. Escanor is straight in the bin there. <laughs> and then we got Gotha, dude. I'm pretty sure we're going to one-shot him. Oh, nice, dude. That is perfect there. And then at this point, we got Lost Vein Zol. Um, unfortunately, the Torn isn't up anymore. So yeah, that, that was wonderful, man. That's really, really good for a first match. But anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. I changed around the ordering as well, just because I don't want the Lost Vein mergers off the top. So I'm putting Lost Vein right hand side. Because uh, yeah, I think against like any competent player, man, they're always going to pumpkin bombs. Uh, oh, dude, we got A and Melly here. Okay, that's a bit interesting. Right, I think there's a good chance he's running uh, alt rush food as well. <laughs> this could be a little bit, a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, pretty good chance alt rush food. So I think we'll go for the taunt. Let's also upgrade Lost Vein as well here. And this should land. Okay, nice. So yeah, we need to get down there. Oh, dude, there's only um. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, I was thinking. There's only Droll's Torn in this matchup. There's no Melascula. So yeah, I think next turn <laughs> we can probably probably kill that AM Melee. Um, yeah, it depends on what we want to go for here, man. Uh, if we don't kill AM Melee, we're in a bit of a bad spot. I'm just trying to think. If we like also don't do anything, there's like not too much risk as associated as well. So you so yeah, I think I'm just going to move around. Um, I think I'm literally just going to yeah move around those cards. It doesn't give me any benefit. But I want one more turn just to build up. Um, uh, what is it? Go through this passive one more time. Just because then I can 
have the triple cleave play as well. So yeah, that 100% guarantees that Assault Melee is going to die because you just don't want to bank on any decision that he's going to live. I don't think he's got double petrify here. It's unlikely. Could have it though. Okay, the first one didn't even land anyway. So yeah, here we can just go for big cleave, big cleave. And then... There's a chance of him. I, I think we just make sure he goes down. Because <laughs> we're going to survive Droll's ulti anyway, man. <laughs> yeah, that's plenty of damage. Okay, nice. I think even if we use the single target, Droll would have been alive by a little bit here. Mm, actually, maybe he might have died. But yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've played uh, Lost Fame Meliodas, so it's interesting to see what I can and can't get away with. But now he's got Droll, Zolti, and then next turn we can just like fire off all the Lost Fame cards. i uh, probably bang out the Zeldris there. He still hasn't got through my Deanne. I think we got Taunt for another turn, right? On oh, there, expires next turn. Oh, unfortunately he put his Taunt up. So yeah, I think we go for the Taunt on Deanne here. Um, just to make it difficult to get through. And then like double Lost Fame card as well. And there's a decent chance we're going to kill Droll here. Yeah, not bad at all, man. That should hopefully just be it. Oh, dude, that's so close. <laughs> yeah, Droll's so tanky, man, versus Lost Vane and Sariel. Plus, I think he's got a pretty good Tarmiel association because he bounced back a fair bit there. As long as he doesn't have, like... Yeah, he doesn't have a Petrify merged already, so he's got no way to get through um, Petrify and then Drain. But yeah, fair play to uh, K-Law here. <laughs> But anyway, man, let's move on to our next opponent. All right, now next up, we're facing zero damage here from Phased. I think there's a pretty good chance it is a player here. Um, I'm going to operate on that assumption, and I'm going to operate on the fact that they're probably running evasion food. And assuming they are, let's go for this play. Okay, nice. I thought there's a pretty good chance it was. <laughs> So yeah, that's perfect, man. We roll back the uh, the AM melee here, and then let's see what we draw into. Um, it's not really too great, is it? Yeah, that's actually really unfortunate. I think we can still merge on Gotha, though. Actually, do we merge on Gotha, or do we just, like, double upgrade? I think double upgrading is actually our best play here. So yeah, I think we upgrade Lost Fane, upgrade Lost Fane, and then check out Pumpkin Bombs here. And then, um, even if he's got moderate draw for this turn, he should be able to already do anything, because Deanne's in the way of his um, uh, big damage plays. So yeah, we should be good to combo as well on this turn with Gotha's ulti and also the Lost Vein single target. Oh, actually, he does have Derriere. He might be able to seal away my Gotha here. Yeah, sorry, I thought that was green uh, Derriere for a second. It only buys him one turn, though, so it depends whether or not he's got another Petrify next turn. And he's actually left his Assault Melee wide open. So, yeah, I, th I think we just go for this play here, man. This should, I think, easily kill Melee at this point. Unless we get really, really bad crit RNG, man. Okay, nice. That's perfect. And then we'll get the, the Taunt back up here. He can, like, easily get through the Torn in all fairness, man. <laughs> but, yeah, that was a, a good match. Uh, but, anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. All right. Now, next up, dude, we got another Assault Melee team, bro. I swear we're facing, like, every Assault Melee team today, man. Uh, okay, I'm going to operate on the assumption again that this is a player and they are running evasion food. There's a little bit of a delay. So, I think, actually, as well, in this matchup, let's go for upgrade on Melee straight away. Just because that maximizes draw here. And we don't necessarily need the... Um... Uh, what is it? Taunt first turn. A little, little bit interested to see there was no evasion food. Could be something else. Could be like attack food. Sorry, off guard a little bit. Um, We don't have a bad play next turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a player, man. The fact they've moved around those cards. But we'll just use the Melascula cards. So yeah, let's go for let's go for this. He does have one more stack than I kind of want him to, and we've got one more debuff, uh, which is unfortunate. But we can still we can still do this as long as we draw an upgrade, or he goes for a he might go for a cleave next turn. Again, he's got three buffs on Amelie from his passive five total. 
I think if I were him, I don't know if I'd send it at this point. Depends on what else he's got, really. Hmm. I think he just merged a petrified there. I'm a little bit worried about that, if I'm honest. Um. Gosh, do we just, like, send it, man? I'm kind of thinking so. This could backfire a bit. But yeah, I, I think we'll give it a go, man. We'll give it a go. I want to see if we can get that Droll down and then finish off AM Melee, but it depends on the crit RNG here. Oh, come on. Yeah, dude. Oh, that was really, really unfortunate. I think I might be about to get wrecked here. We just didn't draw into um, any additional upgrades or cleave cards. I don't know. There's still a chance we can survive here. Oh, okay. What's that final card, dude? If that's single target, we are in a great spot. Oh, my God. This is really, really good. This is so good. There's no taunt on draw, right? Okay, fantastic. So, I think we just go for... Um, the upgrade on Lost Vein, and then like, pow, pow, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Just make sure that AM Melee goes down, dude. I thought I was toast there, mate. Oh, man, maybe I should have gone for the Cleave as well. Yeah, just that Ludo passive, man. Combined with Gotha at this point in the game is just so nice for finishing. There's already a chance next turn we're going to get, um, was it Petrified by Droll? Uh, he's still got his Cheat Death for the next turn. So I think we want to uh, just, yeah, Pumpkin Bombs, man. As long as we Pumpkin Bombs, we'll be good. He doesn't really have, like, much burst damage unless he tops deck, say, um, like a lot of Zeldris cards. And even then, it's going to be difficult to get uh, Meli down without support. Ooh. Okay, that's really, really good. Malaskalo just got a massive heal there. There's still a pretty good chance we can get her down. <laughs> but anyway, man, uh, that was a great match. Lots of Assault Melee's in the bin today. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to our next opponent and see if we can find some more Eskinaws. All right, so we've just had Skip ahead a couple of bot matches, man. But hopefully we got a player here. Dude, is this another Assault Melee team, bro? Oh my gosh, it is. That is crazy, man. We've had so many of these teams today. It's nuts. Okay, I think we'll go for... Um... It's a bit awkward in terms of the ordering here. I think we go for this, and then this, and then we'll upgrade Melly here as well. I think is the, the best play to go for turn one, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be evasion food. He can get Esther's ult in this match. Um, especially if he's got the merger as well. There's a pretty good chance he can just push that turn one. Because I know he doesn't have the AM Melee merger. So yeah, there's a decent chance. Uh, just about 40% that he's got like the second Esterosa card. So like merging either one of those cards and then using both of them is going to give Malt straight away. Okay, he doesn't have that play. Oh, dude, with this play though that we've got, that top deck, bro, that's, that's pretty nuts. So yeah, I, I think we just win next turn, right? Is there anything you can do to get... Actually, I do need to, um... Put up the tall on Deanne, or else I run the risk of, um... Uh, what is it? Just being... Yeah, I can just easily get petrified by Droll. So I think I've got to go for this play, and then chuck up the, uh, the Torn. And I need to use that card, just due to the fact I need the additional alt gauge from it. But it is going to give me Esterosa's Commandment, which isn't ideal to have at this point. Actually, no, it doesn't give me Esther's Commandment, because he's running Droll's Commandment. So yeah, we chillin', boys. Plus, we got, like, three Lost Vein cards in hand. Yeah, we're in a good spot. So let's, uh, let's see what happens here, man. Bit curious. Okay, big upgrades on Lost Vein. And then we've got a Petrify. What, what is the last card? Oh, ambitious snipe, man. I respect the play, though. Let's uh, let's test out that good old-fashioned Lost Vein Meliodas ultimate here. And, um... 
I think just to be safe, I mean, it's it's so much overkill. <laughs> I think that the ult's just going to wipe, man. Again, 6-6, six, six, big wayland. Yeah, dude, that's so much overkill damage. I just wanted to make sure, though. Because, yeah, at this point, we are in a really, really strong position. I'm actually so surprised by the amount of people today. Like, legit players, man. I just cannot stop queuing into, like, every flavor of a song Meliodas today. <laughs> it really is nuts, man. Okay, what's he going to go for? All oh, the Zeldris play. Ambitious, man. Ambitious. You know, i, I got to respect it. I'm trying to get that, that gold tier comeback right there. Hmm. I think we just move this for now, and then we'll go for this. Because then, yeah, like, the best thing he can do here is, like, kill the Yan if he's lucky. And then Ludo drops down. <laughs> Ludo's passive comes into play, dude. Uh, we probably draw like another Lost Lane card as well. Pretty good chance of that because we lose two Dian cards. So yeah, at that point we are in a yeah, just a great great spot. Actually, we only draw one more card here actually with the mergers. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fine with that passive, dude. We are chilling. Um, <laughs> so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's fire that off. And we're going to queue for one more match and see if we can find an Eskimo player, dude. I've been searching for the one so much because I know Tandian is absolutely phenomenal for slowing him down. Uh, but yeah, we'll give it one more attempt. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's let's get queuing. All right, we're looking for a final boss. Okay, dude, hopefully this is a player here, right? Guaranteed to be a player. Fantastic. Um, and I think they're running maybe alt food here. A little bit interested. See what's up. Um, I think we're gonna go for this play though. I quite like it. Will we save this for next turn? Hmm. I think I'm going to save the upgrade for next turn, because again, I don't mind if Tank Dian dies. But next turn, if we draw into another upgrade, then I can get the stats buff. And then if we can get that, uh, then yeah, we're in a really good position. But I think having go through on the left-hand side is the correct decision for um, what we're trying to do with this team. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what he uses here. He's got to, got to go for Pumpkin Bombs. But if he does as well, like, gosh, that's a lot of gold, dude. That is a lot of gold. Oh, no, it didn't crit. <laughs> oh, mate, that is so unfortunate. Uh, right, well, that is a big, big old disappointment. I'm not so happy about that, I must admit. Um, let's go for this, and I think we'll... Actually, let's go for this. Oh, actually, no, we do need to do it in this order, unfortunately. Just because if I used it in the middle, it would have uh, thrown away that Lost Vein Gold card. I didn't think you... Actually, maybe using the second one there would have been the right decision. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for that. I was thinking I'm trying to be greedy and get, like, double cleave next turn. Oh, we didn't draw any cleave cards, man. Also, that turn, we had no Pumpkin Bombs. I, th I think we m still might just have the play to get Eskinor down here. Hmm, depending on what he goes for. Right. Um, <laughs> we're in a sticky situation. A very sticky situation. I think we can get out of it, though. I think we can just get out of it. If we cleave the Gotha down here. Okay, nice. Now we just need this gold card to finish the job on Eskinor. Perfect, man. That was so, so good. I am tremendously pleased to see that. And now we've still got the Torn up. He didn't have Pumpkin Bombs because he overly committed to that play there. And there we go, boys. We are done. But overall, today, man, I must admit, this is the most fun I've had playing Lost Vein in ages. Just because if you play him without Tank Dian, it's just like one Escanor card. The man is gone. But having that massive Tank Dian war in the way of Lost Vein is just perfect for the current meta. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Take care. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now.
or enjoy the bitter taste of regret. <laughs>